The film begins by showing two brothers, namely Sam Drake and his younger brother Nathan Drake, who were stealing the original map of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition. According to the legend, the map will guide one to the treasure depository that Magellan had gathered during his journey. Sam and Nat who liked to explore were sure that they were the descendants of Sir Francis Drake, a famous English explorer and sea captain who was born as a treasure hunter. Unfortunately, their action that night was caught by the security guards. They were arrested and returned to the orphans they came from. They had tried to steal the map three times, and the orphanage couldn't stand their actions anymore. They handed Sam over to the authorities. Sam, who did not want to be jailed, decided to run away that night, leaving Nat behind. He promised to come back one day and left a ring left by their ancestors to be kept by Nat. Fifteen years later, Nat grew up and now worked in a bar. He sometimes stole his customers' belongings. His habit of stealing since childhood apparently continued even until he grew up. When he was working that night, Nat was suddenly called by a man at the bar. He turned out to be a treasure hunter named Victor Sullivan. He is also known as Sully. Sully offered Nat to work with him and went to explore the treasures of Magellan, but Nat refused his offer. When Sulis was gone, Nat realized that Sully had taken his stolen goods and replaced them with his business card. Because of that, Nat was forced to go to the address to get back his stolen goods. At Sully's house, Nat found a lot of artifacts, even the map that he and Sam tried to steal long ago when they were kids. Sully then showed up. He said that he knew about Sam and had gone on a journey together with him. He also said that he knew about Nat from Sam since he used to talk about Nat, his little brother who likes to explore every minute. Nat then asked where his brother was, only to know that Sully hadn't seen him since two years ago. Sam suddenly disappeared while helping him look for Juan Sebastian Elcano's notes, where inside the notes, there are so many clues that can be used to find Magellan's treasure. That was why Sully searched for Nat to invite him to look for Magellan's treasure, and at the same time, found Sam who had disappeared for a long time. After Nat agreed, Sully shared some information about the journey that they would do to find the treasure. They needed two crucifixes of the legacy of Magellan's crew which would be the key to the treasure. One of the two crucifixes would be auctioned in an artifact auction and they planned to steal it there the next day. Besides them, there was also Santiago Moncada, the last descendant of the Moncada family, who also wanted to get his hand on the crucifix. Before the auction started, Sully and Nett prepared a plan to help them steal the crucifix and escape from the place unnoticed. Nat would turn off the electricity to divert everyone's attention and make the place dark, barely enough for everyone to see, while Sully would take the crucifix from the auctioneer. Long story short, the night of the auction finally came. At the auction venue, they met a woman named Joe Braddock, a mercenary hired by the Moncada family. Joe and Sully seemed to have known each other and the moment they saw each other, they went into a fight for Magellan's crucifix. When the auction started, Nat infiltrated the control room to turn off the electricity but he was caught by Joe's men who had suspected their plan. While Nat was busy with Joe's men, Sully played along with the auction to distract Santiago Moncada until finally, both Sully and Nat ran out of time. Nat sacrificed himself to distract everyone. Sully then took advantage by replacing his suit with an officer's suit and carried the crucifix away from the building, but Joe who knew the plan immediately prevented Sully from running away and tried to take the crucifix from her hands. Unfortunately, security found them, so Sully, who was wearing an officer's suit, managed to escape from Joe. After getting the crucifix, Sully and Nat finally started their journey to Barcelona, where they would meet a woman named Chloe Fraser, the owner of the other crucifix. Sully hoped that Chloe would join them because they needed both crucifixes as the key to finding the treasure, but without Nat and Sully knowing, Chloe betrayed them and stole their crucifix. Chloe almost managed to run away with both crucifixes when she got into her car, but Sully managed to stop her by saying that she would never be able to find the treasure without their help. Thanks to Sully, Chloe had no other choice but to work together with them so that she could get the treasure. On the other hand, Santiago Moncada was seen with his father. At that time, Santiago was disappointed with his father's decision to donate all of the family's assets because he felt that Santiago was not worthy of inheriting all of these assets. Because of that, Santiago ordered Joe to kill his father so that they could start searching for the treasure without any hindrance. From one Sebastian Elcano's notes, Nat and the others were directed to a church called Santa Maria del Pi where they found two passages named Heaven and Hell. As per the instructions, they had to split up, so Chloe and Nat would pass the Hell while Sully will go through Heaven. Each of them was given a crucifix that can be used as a key. Shortly thereafter, Joe and her men arrived there. Joe then followed Sully while her men chased after Nat and Chloe. The passage Nat and Chloe entered led them to an underground bar. 
they also saw Joe's men there so they tried to blend in to avoid getting caught. After that, they found another passage behind the bar. Chloe quickly opened the passage using the crucifix while Nat tried to face Joe's men to buy her some time until finally, they managed to escape and enter that passage. Inside the passage, they found another keyhole to put the crucifix, but when they put the crucifix to enter the next passage, water suddenly flooded the entire room and slowly began drowning them. Sully was the only one who could save them inserting the other crucifix that he had into the other keyhole to open the passage for Nat and Chloe. Unfortunately, Joe suddenly came and immediately intercepted him. Thanks to that, Sully needed more time to save the day while Chloe and Nat were running out of time. Finally, Sully managed to beat Joe and put the crucifix on time. Nat and Chloe succeeded to survive and entered the next passage. The next passage led them to a gate, but to enter it, they needed both crucifixes. Sully then dropped the crucifix he had with him. Nat then put both crucifixes together and formed the key for the gate. They then entered through the gate and found a chamber with giant vases inside which they thought contained the treasures, but when they broke all the vases, the only thing they found was salt and shockingly, the real Magellan treasure map. It turned out that the real Magellan treasure was not in Barcelona but in the Philippines. After knowing that the real map was right in front of her eyes, Chloe chose to betray Nat and Sully. She beat Nat in the back of his head and sent him unconscious. She then took away the real Magellan treasure map and ran away from there, leaving Nat behind. Not long after, Nat finally woke up. Seeing how he was betrayed by Chloe, he began to question Sully too. He was curious about what really happened between Sully and Sam. Knowing there was nothing to hide anymore, Sully finally spilled the truth. Turned out, back then when both Sully and Sam were on the journey to find the treasure, they were ambushed by Joe and her men. Sadly, during the ambush, Sam was shot dead and Sully had no other choice but to leave him behind to save himself. At the same time, Joe came to see Santiago to report on her mission. When they were talking, Chloe suddenly showed up. Unexpectedly, Chloe decided to join Santiago's team to find the treasure. She also handed over the map she got and prepared to continue the journey to the Philippines with them. At the end, Nat tried to forgive Sully for what he had done. He also decided to continue their journey to find the treasures. They both then went to Santiago Moncada's headquarters to infiltrate the plane that was used to fly to the Philippines. Inside the plane, they found Chloe, Joe, Santiago, and the others drinking while enjoying their flight. When Santiago was talking, Joe approached him and shockingly, slit Santiago's throat to kill him. When all the attention was focused on Joe, Chloe took the chance to hide. Joe immediately took control and ordered all her men to look for Chloe to kill her. Meanwhile, Nan and Sully, who were hiding in the trunk of a car, slowly got out and saw Santiago's corpse. Realizing that the situation there was chaotic, Sully ordered Nat to immediately use a parachute so they could escape from the plane, but instead of listening to Joe and her man, he threatened to release all the cargo of the plane if Joe didn't say the truth about what happened to Sam, but since Joe didn't open her mouth, Nat decided to release the cargo, sending him and Sully flying out of the plane. Fortunately, Nat managed to grab the rope holding the cargo and slowly climbed back into the plane, but when he was about to step back into the plane, he was immediately hit by a car driven by Chloe whom she used to escape from the plane. Nat the Chloe swayed midair until they finally managed to grab onto one of the cargoes and triggered the parachute to save their lives. After safely landing in the sea, both Chloe and Nat swam to an island to rest there for a while inspecting the map to find the location of the treasure. Nat stayed all night staring at the map while looking at all the postcards that Sam used to send. He also started to think about what exactly Sam tried to say from all the postcards that he left. While looking at one of the postcards, Nat tried his old trick with Sam by placing a fire under the postcard. Surprisingly, the postcard had a hidden message written on it saying that both crucifixes were the clue. Nat immediately opened the map and put the crucifixes at two different points inside the map. Both of them met at one point on the map. Nat immediately wrote down the coordinates of the location and took a rest. The next day, Chloe woke up first and saw the coordinates written by Nat. She took the paper and ran away to get the treasure alone, while Nat, who already suspected that Chloe would betray him, deliberately wrote down the wrong coordinates because he had hidden the correct coordinates for himself. After that, Nat rushed to find the treasure by using a speedboat. Arriving at the destination, Nat found two ancient ships filled with gold. There, Nat also met Sully who apparently followed him, thanks to the location of their connected cell phone. Soon Joe and her men also arrived at the treasure location. Nat and Sully, who saw it, quickly ran away and hid in the ship. 
After that, Joe ordered her men to transport the two ships so they could take all the gold in them. When the two ships were transported, Sully and Nat came out of their hideout and then beat up all of Joe's men on the ship and took over the helicopter that was transporting the ship. Joe, who was on another ship, saw what they were doing. She didn't stay silent. She then ordered her men to immediately chase them. Nat who saw that tried to help Sully by shooting cannons at Joe's ship, as a result of this, Joe was forced to escape from her ship and jump to the ship where Nat was. Knowing he could not face Joe alone, Nat asked Sully to help him, while at the same time, Sully was holding a bag full of gold. He was faced with two options, whether to throw the bag to save Nat or leave them behind to claim the gold by himself. In the end, it was a difficult choice but Sully decided to give up all the treasure and save Nat because he didn't want to live in guilt like what happened after Sam's death. Joe on the other hand, who had fallen into the sea, was hit by the ship falling above her. The ship and all the treasure inside of it had now become the property of the Philippines, but fortunately, Nat managed to snatch two gold bars and shared it with Sully. Shortly after, they saw Chloe below them, looking at them with an annoyed look. Nat and Sully laughed with satisfaction seeing Chloe tasting her own karma for the betrayal she did. Even though they didn't get much gold, Nat and Sully were ready to start their next adventure. Just before the film ended, a scene showed Sam who turned out to be alive inside a prison, writing another postcard for Nat. 